And welcome back. This is your man, Warrior, and I have two videos coming out simultaneously. I know some people really want the patch notes because they are driving or doing whatever, and they use me kind of as a form of a podcast, and they want some information, and so that's what this video is about. And so this video is going to have patch notes, uh, confirmation that Revan is not coming into the game, as well as the trip that I'll be taking to EA at the end of next month, and... Of course, I will have a video of all of the patch notes. Now, there's going to be another video that's actually going to have gameplay, and I'm going to discuss briefly the kits of both of the characters. First impressions are that Holdo is the better of the two characters, although if you don't get her, it's not going to be the end of the world. Even with a resistance team, although she is a really good missing piece to that fifth piece of the puzzle for resistance for arena she's going to make her a little that team a little stouter but still going to be beat by other teams on offense so don't stress about those but i will put a video out on their kits all right now let's go ahead and get right into it we now know officially that admiral holdo and rose tico are both coming into the game they're coming in by way of marquee events both of them called spark of the resistance one and two same day that's january 27th you only have to be level 20 to participate and there are no required characters as it's open like every other marquee events you spoke and they heard that's right Everybody was upset about Wicket, except for maybe a few Kraken. <laughs> Wicket and Mother Talzin and the Zombie and Spirit being behind an exclusive event, knowing that event was going to take one to two years, two years realistically to get these characters to seven stars, which is unrealistic to think we're ever going to get those characters and use them in any real fashion. So this is really exciting. After listening to the feedback, they've decided to make those characters completely farmable. They're going to place them onto the board somewhere shortly. However, they are going to go ahead and start putting them in shipments for crystals immediately um, as soon as this update goes live. And then shortly thereafter, they're going to move it to a farmable location on the map. Probably all four into Cantina, level eight and nine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there are some packs and bundles that are coming into the game. As you can see, they're going to have the basic $12.99 packs. As always, you're going to get probably seven shards on average for the $12.99 crystals. And it's not going to be worth it for anybody unless you're an Uber Whale or Kraken and you want to max this character out right away. They have not made any plans to make these characters exclusive. In fact, they've reversed all that exclusivity with characters such as Mother Talzin and Wicket. So these should fall under the three month cadence two to three months they should be farmable so if you are patient you can integrate these characters into your lineup also they'll probably have these bundles i'm guessing that they are going to be the 9.99 pack traditionally it's uh used to be 19.99 and unlocks the character but because it's a marquee event and we're getting them these will probably be that 9.99 booster it's basically going to get you one extra star on your character and I'm guessing because again I haven't seen the actual packs it will give you some character shards and some basic stuff like credits droids and ability materials as well as the gear for the first couple of levels they're going to do one for both characters and these packs really are not needed if you are free to play or mostly free to play don't worry about it wait a few months and you'll get the character for free for anybody who's a whale or a dolphin of course you're probably going to drop the nine bucks to get the extra shards because it speeds up the farm and I was just talking about this on my live stream yesterday that I have just literally got Kylo Ren's Thai Silencer, or as Cubs fan Han says, Thai Slicer. <laughs> Sorry, had to dig. We're good buddies. It's all good. He's okay with it. <laughs> Uh, the Thai Silencer and Kylo Ren Unmasked, both of which I slow farmed through shipments for crystals. And I said, boy, I bet the moment I'm done, I am going to have them go free to play farmable. And look at this Cantina 3F and they're stacked on top of each other. So you're going to get both at the same time. This is a 
free-to-play dream come true. He is, in fact, the best leader for First Order, so I would highly recommend this farm for sure. Now, Special Forces is going into the guild store, as, as is his ship. Going to be a little tougher because you're going to have to do both in different areas, and they're random drops inside of there. But the Special Forces TIE Fighter is very solid of an attacker for the First Order. Now, some really quick character things. Their bases unload is no longer going to deal the bonus damage if they have special buffs. Royal Guard's health up buff from Imperial Flanks will now expire correctly. Didn't know it wasn't, so that's good to know. And Hermit Yoda's Master Protection will no longer trigger the escape attempt panel in the Rancor Raid. As far as ships, capital ships upgraded to seven stars will now reward your achievement for doing so immediately versus having to restart the game for it to recognize you've acquired that achievement. Quick on guild events, really nothing special here except for there was a bug in the guild events uh, for Territory Wars. They fixed that bug, but with that bug came a new bug. I think they're working on that new bug as we speak. That is the banner issue that they are aware of. Then there is some language issues. You can go ahead and read it if you're interested in knowing about some of the language specifics that they are fixing. And then the last that they have on here is what's ahead. And it says the dark side of the force is the pathway to many abilities some consider to be unnatural so what that is is a quote from emperor palpatine which tells me that yes in fact we are getting an emperor palpatine rework now they haven't told me anything this is my speculation but come on guys look at what's ahead i think anybody can know that that's happening plus they have already confirmed that emperor palpatine was on the docket as someone they were looking at for a possible rework slash adding of a zeta so keep that in mind that also means there's a potential for sith to be needed in february okay now lastly i did mention that cg capital games ea has confirmed that it it is not Revan next month, but that doesn't mean anything because Revan is still probably going to be coming into the game. They're just going to be doing this Emperor Palpatine rework. And it also says in this trip I'm taking that there's going to be a very large feature coming into the game. I have no idea. I'm super excited. I'm guessing, to be completely honest, that we're going to get a sandbox mode that we can fight our allies in our ally list, and that way we can have unlimited battles throughout the day as we see fit to theorycraft, because right now we really have a difficult time theorycrafting without just using the few teams in arena that we face. So now you've got it. You've got the patch notes, what's coming, what's happening, what events. The packs really aren't worth it. The characters are okay. And you know that Revan's not coming into the game, but there is some crazy new thing happening at the end of February, which I will bring for you on my channel. And Revan is not on the docket anytime soon. And more than likely, we have an Emperor Palpatine rework. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure that you check out the other video, which will go into depth with footage of Rose and holdo and you'll get to see their kits in action as always keep your gaming on warrior out